just another casual do it with me video. We're gonna get three things done. We're going to four things done. Water, clean the house, clean paper stuff or do paper stuff and cut up one fruit or vegetable. And it'll all take us less than 20 minutes. Let's start with that water. cleaning five minutes and go So here's my dirty closet again because I haven't been doing my five minutes. My mom gave me some clothes. Last time I visited her, some of them are going to need to be washed because one of our dogs got sick in the car. Everything else is good. So I started a new job recently. It's a nursing management job like my last one, but and my hope is that it's going to be a much better work environment for me and that I get to spend some more time with my family. So I'm really hopeful about that. It's a big decrease in pay, but um, I think that the benefit of having work-life balance is going to be so much worth it. So very much worth it. And I've been working really hard and lots of hours to begin with at this job, but my feeling is that that's going to be temporary because I'm just getting the swing of things and hopefully once I have the swing of things at this new job, all of my systems will just keep running smoothly and they won't have to ever catch up on anything because it'll all be caught up on. I don't know if you guys have any of these kind of pants. They have a big old hole in them. I still wear these at home. My family doesn't care and they're really comfortable. So let's talk about work-life balance today. Isn't that cute? I wore this when I was doing a jazz performance when I was 12 or so. I got a Spanx. This was for my first Holy Communion because I was raised Catholic and then I switched to Protestant. Washing machine. So it'll be a little harder to get out of debt now because of my choice to change jobs. But I'm planning on getting my my lab website up where I'm helping people to memorize their nursing labs. I'm hoping that that website will eventually be able to bring in some passive income. Basically it helps 
nurses who want to pass the NCLEX, the big state test. Helps them to memorize all the most important lab values. Within, let's say they could probably do it in, in one week at most. They could probably do it in one day if they really wanted to. I think that my domain is rnnurselabs.com. Process. Now we're doing five minutes of paper, and my paper situation is in such a mess right now uh, because I've been busy and also exhausted when I come home. So my main focus in these five minutes are just to make piles of things that could be taken care of, you know, a long time from now, things that have to be taken care of within the month and things that have to be taken care of right away. So my computer crashed, which has slowed down some of my vlogging. And I had some weeks of depression over that. I lost a lot of good stuff I was working on. And then we paid $1,300 for 12 to to get that uh, data recovered from a fancy place. I don't, I don't have a bag yet, but um, but it's on, it's on its way. I know that a lot of this stuff was not recoverable, and some of it was. It's a present for you, Mom. We got a present for you in Arizona. It's tax season. You guys finished with your taxes? I have not started, but I will start. My bosses have told me this is a really good book to read. I have not started it.
five minutes of cutting up fruits and vegetables. Why? Because if they're already cut up, then we're a lot more likely to actually eat them. Corn on the cob go bad, but the birds like it, so. So thinking about quality of life, just think about what matters to you for your quality of life. I mean, I think most people wouldn't say money. I think most people, it's their experiences, their relationships. You know, there's a study I heard about a long time ago that that money makes a difference in happiness up to only a certain amount. I think it may have been like 90 or 100,000 or something um, a year to where they don't have to worry about their bills. Because up until that point, it's a stressor. And that can make your life better or worse. If you can't feed yourself, then there's a lot more reason why you're actually going to be sad because of a lack of money. But then whenever it gets to the surplus, which a lot of Americans have, you know, some sur surplus to buy fancy cars and whatnot, then I'm just wondering if what, what you think enough is for you. All that I'm getting at with this is to introspect. For me, my walks make me really happy. I really like taking walks. I just don't want you to be in a place where you are thinking without thinking that you're going to be a lot happier with when you get this next car or this next bigger job and then you get there and you don't realize it but you're not actually happier. You'll be unhappy but you won't realize what led you to the unhappiness and what you were telling yourself along the way. So maybe you, know, you have a nice job and you're still not happy, but you forgot the fact that before you had told yourself that getting that nice job was what was gonna make you happy. And then you got there when you weren't happy. Like always pursuing the next thing always being on the treadmill without realizing that you you directed your own treadmill. You brought yourself to that place of uncontentment. And without looking back and seeing that you the destination that you're at right now is where you were supposed to be happy. And that's what you told yourself is that you were supposed to be happy at this place, but when you get there, you forgot, you forget that you told yourself that you were supposed to be happy. And you know that you're not happy, but you can't figure out why. So I just wanna make sure that maybe all you needed to be happy was a crochet club or a cooking club. The same can be said for weight loss that a lot of times we, we tell ourselves that if we just weighed 30 pounds less, that we would then be happy. And likewise, we spend a lot of time telling ourselves that we're unhappy now because of our current weight. But that's not always the case. Because if you were 30 pounds lighter, you'd still be your same brain, you know? You're still gonna be, I'm, if I were 30 pounds lighter, I'd still be looking at this celery, just like I'm looking at it now. I would be able to fit into cuter clothes and I would be happy about that. I think my, my self-esteem would be better going out into the world, just knowing that I don't have the inner narrative running about how I feel like I look. I feel like I, okay, so I think I look like an unfit person in their late 30s, which I am, but I feel like I look that way too. I feel like I look frumpy. All right, 
so here we go. Okay, bonus content. I don't want to take you guys over 20 minutes unless I have to. So, this is our bonus portion. Get your tea if you want to or your water. And then we're gonna do five minutes of outside time just staring at the outside. Just peace. Kind of like meditation. Or you can do prayer, whatever you want. Or nothing. And just listen to the peace when it's centering.
right. I feel like that was a productive morning. Hope you guys did too. See you in the next one. I mean, I think I do look frumpy, but I think, I think about it too. I think about how I look frumpy. And, and maybe if I looked, maybe if I was skinnier, then I would feel like I wasn't frumpy too. I feel like I have more energy. Because the, the brain has a lot to do with things, you know? Even if I didn't actually have more energy than I have right now, if I was skinnier and looked fitter, then I would feel like I look like a person who has a lot of energy. So maybe I would feel like I have a lot of energy. So it's funny because I kind of started this conversation out trying to say why losing weight wouldn't matter. I'm kind of talking my way out of that. So maybe it does matter. But the point again is introspection. You know, that was introspection that I just did. And I think talking out loud really helps too. You can talk out loud to a video. You can talk out loud to your journal. You know, write it out loud. Write it, write it not out loud. Write it quietly. But really ask yourself, because I know that if I killed myself in a job to have a super fancy house, or a super fancy car, or super fancy clothes. I would have worked for nothing because none of that stuff is going to make me feel better about myself. The way that I am, I might feel worse about myself if I had a super nice house and a super nice car because I have grown up thinking about the poor and the discrepancy between what I have and what they have. And so I allow myself to be happy with a certain amount of niceness and a certain amount of wealth. But past that, if I had a lot of money, like a lot, a lot, I'd be looking at how to help other people but I would never be the kind of person who would have three very nice cars, for example. If I were in that situation, I might have one very nice everyday car and then one very nice kind of like multi-person car. But anyway, know yourself, know what your reward would really look like, what your best life would really look like, just like I was talking about mine what it look like and then make sure that whatever you're doing in your life is working towards that not against that and that you're not going down a trail towards something that maybe society tells you is a good thing but when you get there you're still unhappy hey guys Winter is done and it's time to brush some puppy hairs.